Friday, October 29th, time for the Mustangs to hit the road for New Orleans and a crucial matchup with the Tulane Green Wave. You know, at some point you have to be serious and take it as we're going on a business trip, you know, because essentially that's what it is. We have to go over there and take care of business, but we like to have fun too on the road. Football players burn enormous amounts of calories, so it's no surprise that the first thing the ponies do after clearing security is eat. Uh, a bunch of the guys get some food, either McDonald's or the Cinnabon. And it's a little Big Mac. <laughs> that makes me smaller at the airport. Uh, just kind of hang out, listen to music, and uh, just get ready to board the plane. Jagera Davis grabs the mic from the camera crew for a little goofing with his teammates. All right, this is JG reporting live for SBU Mustangs. How you doing, sir? Can I ask you a question real quick? Oh, come on now. We just talking. What you talking about, boy? Oh, boy, boy, huh? See, I'm give, give me this. Just give me this. Go see the handshake. You got to have a man. You got to work out hard every day because he's, he's almost clutching my hand right now. Hey, can you get back? These my fries, sir. <laughs> leave, leave. Are you my fries? All right, I'm coming back in a minute. How did you get the mustache? How'd I get the mustache? Yeah. <laughs> it's just something to grow when I was about 22. Oh, how you doing today, sir? Good, good. You doing, doing pretty good, pretty good. I like the hat. Spurs. Well, we're going to end the conversation right there. Point live, this is JG from Mustang News. We'll talk to you later. SMU travels to road games on charter flights provided by Southwest Airlines. Most players use the time to chill and grab a little sleep. The team hotel in New Orleans is the Airport Hilton. Hey, what's going on? Come check out our crib away from our crib. What are you doing, man? Cribs is here. Is that an uh, SMU pillow? Well, we got our basic amenities, toothbrush, deodorant, things of that nature, gloves. These hands, they work good on their own, but these guys, they just make them that much better. So bring out the gloves every once in a while, for sure, for sure. Oh, and my book. My mom actually gave me this book, Sleep for Success. I'm a big advocate of sleep, as Bradley can tell you. This is my uh, little travel thing I made. Shaver, I need to use that. That's for you, King. Got my, my hair lotion. Yep. There it is, SMU pillow too. Gotta bring that just in case I forget that I'm a Mustang, which I want ever. Anyway, uh, what's next on the uh, schedule, Brad? Now, I think it says now. I guess that's it, we got a nap. Thanks for coming by, room 432. Y'all have a good one. And we'll see you after the win. Peace. Dinner is at 6.30. We mentioned that football players consume a lot of food over the course of a day. Watch. Dennis McKnight uses the downtime to talk punting with Thomas Morstead. Here, after you hit it, you're almost stepping over and landing on your right foot. Right. Look where his right foot comes down. Behind him. Two years ago, so, Morstead played for the Ponies. Now he has a Super Bowl ring with the New Orleans Saints. We were talking about uh, Matt Smansky and some punting things that we've uh, worked on. I stay in touch with Matt, and um, I haven't seen him in a while, so, and I've been following every game this, this year, so I'm excited to see him all. It is no accident that things are more likely to go your way when you stop worrying about winning or losing the game. After dessert, June Jones talks focus and discipline with his team. Guys. I wish we were six and two, seven and one, eight and zero. Oh. We're four and four. But when you have this type of atmosphere that we're in right now, when you do win and when you do overcome, it's way more rewarding than 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 anything else. <coughs> have a respect for the game and for your teammates, and get yourself ready to play, because that's what it takes. All right, let's break it up. Go, go, three. One, two, three. Go, go. Next up. A defining win for the Mustangs. To the 20, 10, touchdown SMU!
The team buses leave for the Superdome three hours before game time. The mood is serious. The players are focused, aware of the importance of the game. This is an important matchup for both teams. SMU still has aspirations of a conference crown. At three and four, Tulane is hoping to string together the wins needed to be bowl eligible. June Jones' message to his team is simple and direct. All right, guys, uh, we started the season uh, and we talked in training camp about perseverance. That's what we're down to right now. We have to persevere for four more weeks, starting today at 2.30 with this game, okay? There's gonna be stuff that happens in the game. Doesn't matter what happens. We gotta overcome and we gotta find a way to win. That's what you gotta do. You wanna win, you wanna be a champion, we wanna go to a bowl game again, persevere through everything that happens and do it for each other, hang together, play as a team, no matter what, be smart and play the game harder than they do. All right, grab a hand. Mustangs come out firing until an uncharacteristic fumble from Zach Line changes momentum. Hands off to Zach, cuts back to his left, loses the football. It's on the ground at the five-yard line. Um, just poor ball security. Uh, you know, I was looking for lanes and not worried about holding the ball. You know, you got to make it a habit of not fumbling the ball. Just holding it high tight. Tulane freshman running back Orleans Darkwa explodes in the first half for 154 yards. But it's QB Ryan Griffin who accounts for the first Five score the of the game. To the goal line, touchdown. And Tulane has the first score of the day. The Mustangs move the ball well in spurts, but leave the field trailing 7-3 at the half. Must bring us to the end of the first half. Not a lot of pretty stuff. It's gut check time in the locker room. Special teams coach McKnight makes an emotional appeal. I'm going to tell you this much. There's no finer coach in the country than Coach Jones. And then let's do this one for him. He's got so much on his plate right now. Let's do it for him. If we won't do it for each other, do it for that man. He's the best there is. You ain't never going to find a better guy than that. Ever. The Mustangs return to the field determined to find a way to win. You got the next one, JJ. Then JJ. Coach Jones decides to shuffle the deck. He surprises everyone by starting backup QB JJ McDermott in place of Kyle Padron and proceeds to alternate the two for much of the third quarter. Uh, we only had three points in the first half, and that's unacceptable. So um, he challenged me and uh, I mean, whether me or JJ's in, we got to start executing. Padrone begins to lift his play in response to the challenge, but the ponies are stymied by another costly mistake. You're kidding me. It's picked up by Tulane and run in for a touchdown by Austin Jack. Three fumbles today for SMU. This one returned for a touchdown. Down 17 to three late in the third quarter. SMU's season is truly on the line. A third loss in a row would drop the team under 500. A bull bid, once a virtual certainty, might disappear as well. The moment has come where the Mustangs must look inside and see if they indeed have what it takes to be champions. Neckline takes the handoff, going left, big hole, 45 to Tulane, to the 40, to the 35, 30, left sideline at the 25, and it'll be out of bounds at the Tulane. And the answers come quickly, as the Ponies bounce right back with an eight-play, 60-yard touchdown drive. Touchdown, SMU! Oh, you're down 17-3 with six minutes to go in the third quarter. You know, you better, better turn around, and we did, fortunately. Hands off Zach line, big hole. The offensive surge continues as the ponies mount another drive for a score, tying the score at 17. You know, I think Coach Jones has talked to us and he said, you know, winning teams got to learn how to play from behind and win from behind. You know, we kind of went with the mentality of we're not going to lose this game. We have to win conference. Hang together, respond, right? The defense held again, setting up the play of the game and perhaps the season. Drone for the shotgun. Looking left. 
Firing that way, and oh, he got it over the deep. to Aldrich Robinson at the 40. He breaks free. Aldrich to the 40, to the 30, to the 20, 10. Touchdown, SMU. What big time players do right there. They make big time plays. That's the way to go. That's the way to go. Robinson's Thunderbolt gives SMU the lead for the first time in the game. The Green Wave marches the ball to the SMU 5. First and goal. Wants to throw. Looks to his left. Has time. Now across the middle of the field. Intercepted. Chris Banjo in the end zone. Banjo picks it off. And the Mustangs preserve the seven-point lead. And they will go play. Finally, Padron seals the win with his legs. Got Fleming open. Doesn't see him, but he gets to the pylon. The final score. SMU 31 to lane 17. The Mustangs post 28 unanswered points to claim the W. And the stat line is just as gaudy. Kyle Padrone completed 18 of 32 passes, good for 352 yards and a touchdown. Aldrich Robinson proved again that he can make the big play when it matters most. He caught just five balls, but those five catches racked up 182 yards and the go-ahead touchdown. And Zach Line rushed for 177 yards and a pair of touchdowns. More importantly, the team had reached deep. With the season seemingly slipping away, the Ponies did more than respond to adversity. They triumphed with their best overall effort of the season. You know, the biggest thing about this win is come from behind. I think it's one of those wins that define the program. I mean, it's one of those wins that's going to carry over. It's going to turn the corner for everything we're doing, and, and it def defines where we're at.